what is up youtube welcome back to the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe what have we got for today yes folks it's true brought to you by deadline Di Ritchie is making the tv show of his 2017 movie the gentleman <laughs> His name is Fahak. And it says here, Netflix drops a trailer for Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman TV series. So if you don't want to watch this utter rubbish, switch it off and go, go and watch the trailer on YouTube. Otherwise, stick around and find out what's going on. Let's have a look. So Netflix has dropped official trailer for Guy Ritchie's highly anticipated TV series, The Gentleman, which is a spin-off of the Matthew McConaughey starring movie from 2019. So the trailer introduces a wealth of new characters into the Gentleman universe. The series is set to be helmed by White Lotus star Theo James. It's going to drop on Netflix in March of this year. The eight-part short is created by Snatchers Ritchie, which is Guy Ritchie. Why don't you just say Guy Ritchie? It's inspired by the 2019 Miramax film called The Gentleman. Which, to be fair, when that first came out and I watched it, I did not enjoy it. For some reason, I do not know. It had everybody and anybody in it. Um, Charlie Hunnam, Colin Farrell, Hugh Grant... And then I watched it again, and I thought it was brilliant. And then I watched it again, and I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> and then I watched it again, and I thought it was brilliant. Are you serious? And it, it is a really good, fun movie. And it's, it, it gets back to Richie's roots, which was Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. I think he's gone a little bit wayward of late with the last couple of films that he, he's produced. Uh, the Covenant being one of them, I thought it was okay. It, it, it wasn't very... Richie-esque there was that um who's the guy what was it operation fortune which i couldn't decide whether it was like a full-blown comedy or or a drama comedy crime thriller it was okay wrath of man was okay quite enjoyed king arthur but i think if he goes back to his roots and brings us some some good old london crime gangster richie style movies and tv shows then yes i will be happy if you have a better idea how to get five hundred thousand in the next few days let us know so the tv show is going to be created by guy richie it's going to follow eddie horniman eddie horniman really i'm 260 for my shirt Sure. Played by Theo James. Theo James, you'll know him from the Divergent trilogy. I think he was in Downton Abbey at one point. He was in a couple of the Underworld movies as well. The Vampire v Vampires vs. Werewolves Underworld movies. He was in a couple of them. You know who he is. I don't think the guy... The, the, the guy doesn't get any older either. I think he, he's not even 40 yet. And he fe feels like he's been around for about 40 years. Another good one of him is How It All Ends or How It Ends, which was on Netflix, which is a, a kind of a, an end of the world dystopian movie. So, Theo James's character has inherited his English aristocrat father's sizable estate and becomes the new Duke of Halstead, only to discover that it's sitting on top of the biggest weed farm in Europe, which is owned by the legendary Mickey Pierce. So, good that they've got some connection to the movie and it's not just like ignoring the fact that the movie exists. Good, I like that. Who's going to be in it though? Are we going to see any regulars? We're going to see Scordelario, James Richardson, Jones, Beasley, Winston, Esposito, Serafinowitz, most of whom can be seen in the trailer. There's a trailer on, did I mention there's a trailer on YouTube? Go and watch the trailer. This is the bit that puts me off. Richie directs the first two episodes. That's always a bad sign. Disney do a similar thing with all their Marvel and Star Wars stuff. Anger is not the way of the jet. <laughs> oh. It's like, who's next? Have a go. <laughs> Why don't you just direct the entire thing? <laughs> Because when you start chopping and changing directors and producers and writers and all the rest of it, you get a change in tone, you get a change in character. Uh, you get a change in pacing and, and character motivation and the thing just becomes disjointed. So, fingers crossed, it's not going to be shit. <coughs> he's going to direct the first two episodes and he's going to executive produce alongside Matthew Reed, Marn Davies and Ivan Atkinson, none of whom I've heard of. Something to do with Miramax TV and blah, 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 blah. The series producer is Hugh Warren. I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. So there you go. The Gentleman spin-off TV show. Welcome to the jungle. Coming to Netflix in March. What do you think? Think it'll be any good? What are your thoughts? Do you think Richie's going to be okay doing TV shows? It's a lot different doing a movie where everything's done and dusted in, in two hours. The script has to be nice and tight. This is... Possibly going to be, what, six, seven, eight episodes? Anywhere between half an hour and an hour long. Are you going to be able to stretch it out that far? Time will tell. We'll find out in March anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments section. 
down below. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.